Hi. Johnson dug his heels in over Dominic Cummings, emerging victorious. This week, demonstrating callousness, arrogance, he lay blame on the care sector for tens of thousands of COVID deaths. Outrage for a couple of days, then it's all forgotten. The Richard Desmond, Robert, Jenrick scandal barely raised an eyebrow. Nothing sticks. Indeed, the rays of Johnsonian sunshine beams down on the likes of Pretty Patel and Rishi Shunak. They, too, seem to be untouchable, along with the entire administration. Next election, for long years away, Johnson will retain those red wall seats. The country continues its rightward drift. Expect more viciousness from Johnson and his Cenobites, and expect it to be shrugged off by the majority of the vote in public. For the foreseeable future, the spell remains unbroken. The one-party electoral state is waiting to see how far they can go down the authoritarian road when it all goes ballistic once unemployment reaches the five million plus point with all the social consequences, including riots, looting and occupations. As for pitiful labour under law and order freak Sir Starmer, they will support government repression, angling for a junior position in an emergency coalition government. Labour are finished. Anarchists, malcontents, disaffected. Think of what's going down over the next 12 months and draw conclusions and get ready for the chaos, but also the opportunities. Bye.